Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel, Red Elevator. I'm Nina Takish. Today, we're going to talk about the hottest, newest neutral pink colors. You do not want to miss this. Follow me. And today, since so many of you ask, I am wearing my absolute all-time favorite t-shirt ever created. It's 100% cotton. I love, love, love this t-shirt. It's gonna be linked in the description section. And I'm pairing it with my all-time favorite new eco-friendly leather pants. And these are gold, as you can see, and they are really fun. They're great to have so that you can like jazz up your look. So let me preface this episode by saying that I love neutral, right? But I also love white. And although you see a lot of white paint color right now on the walls, every house is different, every situation is different. And white is, by the way, a neutral. And I'm not saying white is out. In fact, I still love white. I'm saying let's incorporate white in a methodical way and all the other shades of white, which are called neutrals. I have to say my Zoom consultation with you guys are by far my favorite. I get to meet you guys one-on-one, -on -one, face to face, look at your project and give recommendations. So if you guys want to meet face to face for a quick little Zoom, whether it be 25 minutes or an hour or all day, I'm available. You can click the link in my description section and be able to make a quick reservation through the website. It's really easy. So up until now, we have typically designed our homes in a way that is pretty predictable, which meant that we would have a beautiful color on our walls. Let's say it's a light mocha. And then we would put our crown moldings, our baseboards in the same white shade as our ceilings. And there was there would be contrast between the walls and the crown moldings. However, the school of thought has now transformed and changed dramatically and I love where we're going now so much more. This is what I've always loved. And in fact, this isn't new. This has been uh, around for decades, if not centuries, but people are taking notes. So now instead of having various colors, we take the same color and we apply it everywhere. And by everywhere, I mean everywhere. I mean our ceilings, our walls, our moldings, our baseboards, even the door. And this creates a very homogenous, very calming effect not only on our mood, but it also elevates our space. Let's take a look at an example here. Now, this is a shocking blue color. Blue is not for everyone. I don't recommend it for every house, but it works in this house and it probably could work in your house if you do it like you're seeing in these photos. Take a look at the fact that all the paneling, all the crown, all the ceilings, everything, even the fireplace, you guys, is painted in this blue color. And why does it work? Well, it just simply works because of the fact that it just envelopes the room, creates a very tone on tone vibe, which right now is not only pleasing to the eye, but also very much on trend. And I'm not saying we're gonna be trendy, we're not. And I'm not saying we have to do what everybody else is doing, absolutely not. But I'm just sharing with you what I think right now really works and what gives me that feeling in my stomach when I say yes. That's how I know when things are great is when they when I get happy inside. And so look, I have certain rooms in my house that have the two-tone and believe it or not, I'm gonna be painting them. Why? Because this makes me happy. So this video is not sponsored and it just so happened that all of my favorite colors, neutral colors at the moment are Faroe Ball. So it is without question that if you use any of these colors, I'm going to recommend that you do them not only on your walls, on your baseboards, on your crown, on your ceilings, and potentially your doors and trims. I want you to go to town. I don't want you to think about it. I don't want you to be afraid. I notice when I am at certain clients' homes and I give them recommendations, they are afraid. They're afraid to break tradition. And I'm here to tell you it's okay. You should do it. You should do it because it's going to look great. Trust in the process. Trust me when I tell you I do this 12 to 14 hours a day every day. I've been doing it for a decade long because this is what really uh, makes me happy. It brings me joy day in and day out more so than anything else, more than anything that is out there in terms of beauty. To me, 
interiors is by far my biggest passion. And so what I'm, the reason I went on this diatribe is to let you know that you can trust what I'm saying, which I know you do, which is why you're great subscribers. So thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't, hello, this is the perfect time to subscribe. You don't want to miss all the good stuff. And I mean, good stuff. We are going to be going on so many great trips together. So back to my point, the best neutral paint colors are Faron Ball and I'm gonna share with you which one. So the best colors of Faron Ball at the moment that I'm loving that I would like to highlight that you guys can use are one, Slipper Satin. Slipper Satin is a really great neutral. These are all neutrals, which is what we're discussing today. Neutrals, Schoolhouse White, Off-White is a really good one. We're gonna talk about some other ones in the video as well, but these are like the really good neutral neutrals. We've got shaded white and skimming stone. I've got skimming stone in my house in one of my bathrooms and it's timeless and it's absolutely timeless. Take a look at these wonderful colors, these neutral off-white colors we just talked about in these rooms, whether it be this gorgeous dining room, whether it be this fantastic primary bathroom with a gorgeous tub, or look at the chimney, the fireplace, the surround, the wall, the way the light hits this room. These rooms exude a tremendous amount of beauty and elegance. And the reason they do that is because they employed what we talked about earlier, which is utilizing the same color on every surface. I prefer using an eggshell because things can be cleaned very easily. They dry pretty much flat except for the ceiling. The ceiling, I always recommend that you use flat no matter what, because any imperfection will be noted, but everything else you can do eggshell. Eggshell is one of those paint um, finishes that is very, very easy to be able to clean with a soft cloth. Here's another example of what I mean by moldings and walls and baseboards in the same color. As you can see in this room, which is entirely pink. You guys know I love pink and I'm not even like a girly girl. Am I a girly girl? So even though I'm not a girly girl, I love pink. And I love pink because traditionally pink was actually used in very masculine rooms. Yes, back way hundreds of years ago in the Renaissance time, you will find a lot of pink. In fact, males born as heirs to the throne were dressed in pink. So I love pink. Pink is one of those beautiful colors that is really the color of your flesh. It's the color of skin for some of us. It's the color of blood if you mixed it with some white paint. That's a little gory, isn't it? Is that gory? Guys. Anyway, I love pink. And what I love about this space is that you've got pink everywhere and you have it on the doors. These doors are pocket doors that come in and out, and when they're closed or whether they're open, they just become a whimsical dance, sort of a dance of these walls and the beauty of the pastels that are really just stunning in the space. So if you're wondering whether you should paint every surface of one of your rooms in pink, think no more and try it. In fact, we are going to look at the transformation of my primary bedroom. It's going to be I can't even tell you how excited I am about it. It's going to be on fire. And I can't wait to share it with you because I have actually taken my own advice, believe it or not, and have done everything in pink, but everything. So wait for that transformation. I can't wait to share it with you. Click the subscribe button and the bell because you're not gonna to wanna to miss this episode, I promise you. We talked about skimming stone. I wanted to give you an example of skimming stone you can see in this clawfoot tub bathroom. It is a very nice neutral. It bounces, the light bounces off of it very nicely. Now remember, whatever you do in terms of doing new paint color for your home, you want to buy either, they now have these great swatches, you can just peel and stick to the wall, but if not, you can buy a quarter pint, paint it on the wall and look at it during different times of the day because it's going to look entirely different at noon than at five o'clock. The next color I wanted to highlight is Slipper Satin, which is a great neutral. And it works now with the type of kitchens that are being designed at the moment. People are using a lot of neutral tone marbles that have a lot of this earth tones behind them, whether it be the gold, the olive, the brown. And Slipper Satin by Farrow & Ball is a great, great complimentary pink color that could work in your kitchen that will bring out not only your cabinets, but also the beauty of the stone which you are using. I have to highlight this color because I nearly died when I saw it and I was resuscitated, which is why I'm able to do this YouTube. But this one is called Pin Noir by Ferro and Ball. And it has that lilac base, but it also is a warm lilac, meaning it doesn't turn blue. It's more 
it picks up from the warm family, not from the blue pulled family. So it has um, some red in it and some yellows, and it's just stunning, especially if you're using this type of marble. This is stunning in any room. I would even use it for you know a family room as well. I think it's just stunning. And I wanted to give you an example of Off-White by Pharaoh and Ball. If you are at a loss as to what color to do, you guys know that I always, always plug Simply White. It's on my walls here. Benjamin Moore Simply White is the easiest color because of the fact that it doesn't go either too cold and it doesn't go too warm. It doesn't make the house look, you know, 80s with the, what was that color that everybody used back in the day? I mean, everybody used. If you guys remember that color, you know that color. I swear I'm having mind blanks. I want you to tell me in the comment section. You know, it was like the color. Are you using? Please help me, help a sister out. Anyhow, if you are at a loss, Super White by Benjamin Moore and, and the second one that I actually really am loving at the moment is Off-White by Pharaoh and Ball. It's in this photo. We've got this beautiful long hallway. You know I love the floors. These are herringbone floors that are wood and gorgeous and against the off-white color with the bench and the floating beauty of it and the red sort of art and the backdrop. It's just absolutely stunning. So if you're at a loss, you don't know what to do, pick one of these two, get samples of both and test them out. Thank you again for being such a supportive community. I get really excited on Sundays because I can't wait to see your comments. I can't wait to see how you guys feel about the um, particular episode that we're filming. So I read all your comments. I care about you guys a lot. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you. So shout out to all the wonderful people that are part of our community. You know who you are. You know I love you. So we'll see you again next week on this channel, The Red Elevator.